Hey there! I'm Isil and today we are going to get you started with your T-Scan Hawk 2. In this Getting Started we will be teaching you a new level of photogrammetry called Satellite Mode. Feel free to pause at any point to follow along, there are also chapter segments if you wish to skip ahead. Let's get started! This time the setting is a little bit different. To scan this part, I already prepared it with reference points. Before scanning a part with high accuracy, we must first capture the reference points. For parts smaller than one meter, you can do this easily with the default function capture reference points. But if your part is larger than one meter, we recommend photogrammetry to ensure the accuracy on a larger scale. Just collecting reference points by directly scanning this large part would be inaccurate. The basic definition of photogrammetry is performing measurements using photographs and collecting reference points to generate a stable backbone. With the T-Scan Hawk 2, we have developed a satellite mode. This mode supports highly accurate pre-referencing of complex and large components. Compared to standard photogrammetry, we don't need additional features like coded markers. Due to this new satellite mode, the software is now able to position every picture towards each other, based on the reference points that are already on the part. To define the accurate scale of the part, we put certified hyperscale bars next to or onto the part. Ok, now we are ready to use the satellite mode by selecting the corresponding template. Just position your part in the grid that is projected and start taking pictures of the part by using the trigger button on the T-Scan Hawk 2. Every picture will immediately show up in the software. You can already see that all reference points as well as the scale bars are recognized. One picture is not enough. You need to take multiple pictures around the part in an umbrella shape to finish this measurement series. So, high medium and a low position and again high medium and a low position high medium low high medium low so let's take a look Having taken all the photographs around the part, the software was able to bundle the pictures and create a reference point bundle. This reference point bundle forms a stable backbone structure. It allows you to scan a large part and keep higher accuracy. So, before I start scanning, I will remove the hyperscale bars. By hitting the trigger button again, we are able to start scanning. You will immediately see that the software knows its position in regards to the part. This enables you to only scan areas of the part you are interested in. As these are referenced to each other, you don't need to scan the complete part. Now that I have finished the complete scan of the part, there is only one step to go and that is polygonizing in mesh. The satellite mode comes standard for the T-Scan Hawk 2. It supports you with scanning highly accurate pre-referencing of complex and large components. This video has shown you how and when to use the satellite mode of the T-Scan Hawk 2 using the Gomman Spec software. If you experience anything different from what you've seen here or if you have any issues with your T-Scan Hawk 2, please reach out to us via support at handsonmetrology.com. For more getting started information, please check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.